Mr. James Brown, how are you, sweetie? I'm good. So I understand that you just moved here. You're like a two-weeker um, here on Mount Washington. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what you like about Mount, Mount Washington, what you love. Um, I think that probably the best part of Mount Washington is this view <laughs> by far. And that's why I love working at the Carnegie Library up here. Okay. Because we can see, you know, the entire city. It's great. But the residents are really friendly, too. That's an, another thing I noticed immediately. Do you, feel, you feel a, a sense of community here? Yes, definitely. Really? Yeah. Because, like, you know, you see people walking their dogs and running all over the place. And in Mount Oliver, where, you know, I used to live, you, you don't see that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> if there was something that you could change about Mount, Mount Oliver, what would it be? The crime. Crime? Definitely. It's still, gotten should... better over the years, but it's still not where it should be, I think. How would you change that if, I, if, you, if you were like the big bad boss of changing that all? What would mm. you? That's a difficult problem. Where do you think the crime um, is coming from? I think that probably most of the problems in that community come from drugs. And like when you have drugs, you have weapons, prostitution, this, that, and the third. So. If you know, if you could crack down on those drug dealers, I think that that would definitely help. Which they did, mm -hmm. and it's a little bit better now. Okay. You know, you can walk outside at night, <laughs> but <laughs> you know, like I said, it's still not where it should be. I see. <laughs> I all. see. Where do you see Mount Washington in twenty-five years? Um, I see it being just as beautiful as it is now, probably even better. So I, uh, Why? I was learning about the um, the the big park they. I, I forget what, yes, Emerald, Emerald View Park. Park. And I, I never knew about all of the other ones. I only knew about Grandview. And, uh, yeah, I was reading in the pamphlet that, you know, like they're basically building this, you know, whole thing right now. And I thought that was really, really interesting. Very, very special. <laughs> yeah. So in 25 years, do you think that um, you're going to be able to stay in this community without leaving the community to spend money in this community? Oh, yeah, definitely. Like what kind of things? What do you mean? <laughs> well, what would make you leave this community and go somewhere else? Oh, um, only if it was a better neighborhood. But honestly, I love Mount Washington. I don't, right. I don't see why I would leave. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That is awesome, James. You know, like unless the whole mountain just happened to fall down one day. Yeah, you know, that would probably that's be awesome. it. <laughs> it's wonderful to have people that love their community like that. It really yeah, is. Definitely. I'm proud well, of Tell it. me about the library. It's history. Because this is like a landmark, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, it is a historical landmark. And uh, we're actually going to be having some renovations done to it probably next year. Uh, like, you know, we need air conditioning. That's one of the main things, especially since like, it gets very hot in there in the summer. Um, they need to put an elevator because it isn't handicap accessible. The mm. only problem is because it is a landmark, they have to have all those special permissions to get right. those things done. But uh, yeah, they got all the paperwork signed and we're cleared to go probably sometime next year. And uh, it's turning 100, it? uh, it'll be 113 in May on wow. the 31st, yeah. Wow. All the original woodwork is in there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Walking in there. <laughs> you can feel like, oh, this greatness when yeah. you walk in. It's like homey almost. Where do you go when you want to just relax here? In, in... I actually find work relaxing. I love coming to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, great. Um, other than that, I like to go down to the river mm -hmm. and uh, my boyfriend, he has a boat and yeah. so like, you know, in a couple of weeks it'll be warm enough to take it out. I can't oh, wait for that. I know that's right. <laughs> Woo, relaxing on the river yes, on a that's boat. That's what we're going to do on uh, the 4th of July. Sit right Where down do you go eat point. and hang out when you're here? Um, up on Mount Washington, probably the best place to eat is uh, Pax and Dogs. Uh -huh. um, it's really, really cool because they... I, I'm a drinker. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they have like just about every type of specialty beer that you can think of. They're like lining the walls okay and the first time i ever went in there that was what i noticed immediately like oh alcohol yeah <laughs> good beer from all the world <laughs> exactly but um their burgers are definitely very very good too good okay. medium rare and <laughs> you'll probably be addicted go there every day <laughs> oh well, i'm gonna ask you a question and i don't know how you're gonna answer this one but if you were to imitate another neighborhood what would what neighborhood would that be and why 
Um, hmm. When you ask me that question, it makes me think of, like, whenever my friends come here from out of town, like, oh, you know, what's the nicest neighborhood in Pittsburgh? And I always say Squirrel Hill. Mm-hmm. So Mount Washington's nice, but the, the homes in Squirrel Hill are, you know, pretty to look at. Mm-hmm. So I think if I had to imitate it, um, I would probably just walk around with, like, bags of money. <laughs> ah, James, thank you. You're hilarious. Thank You're you for being with us today, much. darling. Thank you. <laughs>